Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. Here's a look at some stats for Bradley Beal. Over the past five games, his assist totals have been slipping. He and his teammates just don't seem to be clicking right now. Hopefully that's something he can correct tonight. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The forwards will be Booker and Durant. Tyus Jones is out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Nurkic in at the center position. And for Cleveland, Okoro and Mobley, your small and power forwards. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Allen in at the center, locking down the middle. And you know, Doris, looking at this game here tonight, both teams will be looking to involve their bigs often, it seems. You know, B.A., the idea that the big man is dead in basketball is out of the question. What's happening is bigs are getting more and more skilled. They're showing the value they have as versatile performers, and you absolutely love to see it. Now here's Mitchell coming off a terrific game against Brooklyn. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Here's Phoenix. Now here's Jones. Outside Booker. For three, Allen. No good there. And it's Allen with the ball for the Cavaliers. Their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. And they were able to come away with wins in both games last season. Impressive to say the least. Now, these two teams could easily end up meeting to decide the NBA championship. Tonight could be a preview of something with more on the line down the road. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Allen's gone one for two from deep. Allen with a screen on Jones. Allen outside. Garland against Jones. Mobley passes to Okoro. Clock at six. Back to Mobley. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Here's Garland. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. Every season, Darius Garland gets more confident, especially in that scoring ability. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Outside Booker. Pass to Nurkic. Inside. And here's Jones. Fires for three. Another three for Phoenix. And the instincts of KD on display right there. He sees the entire floor. I think it's an underrated aspect of his game. For Cleveland, they've gone one for three so far. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Now here's Mitchell. Mobley, a screen on Allen. From deep, Mitchell. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Jones. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. How about that? Devin Booker says anything you can do, I can do better. Three in the books. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Doris, the feeling around the league is Evan Mobley could win Defensive Player of the Year multiple times. You know, B.A., I think that's on point. And the reason it is is because his effectiveness is not limited to shot blocking. This guy is excellent both on the ball and in help situations. Yes, he blocks a ton of shots, but the fact that he alters even more is as impactful. 
and he does this all at such a young age without getting into serious foul trouble. Look out, Lee. Evan Mobley is going to get better and better. Boy, no question, Evan Mobley is brimming with potential, and you love his attitude, his work ethic. This guy, the sky's the limit. Now here's Booker, a reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. The Cavs trailing. Okoro passes to Allen. Now Garland. Allen with a screen on Booker. Garland for three. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Jones, the pass to Durant. Shoots over Mobley. Durant, no good. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Mobley, a screen on Nurkic. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Allen, the pass to Booker. Rejected by Allen. Wow. Jared Allen twice on the pipe. Send it back, young sir. Pass to Okoro. Now Mobley, defended by Jones. Outside for Mitchell. Takes a three. Jones grabs the board. Phoenix has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Back to Booker. Here's Durant over Mitchell. And there's Durant. That one's good. On the assist from Booker. Now, KD, if you allow him to spot up, the easy money sniper will not miss. Jones against Garland. The three from Mitchell. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Durant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Heading down the home stretch of this regular season, Doris. A lot of teams fighting for playoff positioning. B.A., I love this part of the season because when we're this deep in it, what happens in the arena is there's a playoff level of intensity. Teams are bringing their A games. Competitiveness is starting to round into postseason form. This is a special time of year. First free throw is good. Grant, usually the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks, by snapping the ball around. It also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. So both free throws good from Allen. Well, we see the young star talent for the Cavaliers, Doris. But where do they need to improve? I think the big challenge is making sure you have quality depth. The East obviously has changed. It is so much tougher than it had been in the past. The back end of that rotation is proving so significant to your success. Timeout call, the Cavaliers. All right, let's take a look at the highest scoring teams over the past month in the NBA. The Suns in fifth. This team has really found a great offensive rhythm lately. Running smart plays, sharing the ball, and racking up points. Here's Allen. No made baskets yet. Garland for three. Sends it home from three-point land. This is one of the game's better three-point shooters. Darius Garland in the house. And here are the Suns now. They lead by four. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. It was just a challenging game for them. They executed well, but just not well enough to put themselves over the top. You know what? In the end of the day, it wasn't as close as it should have been. There were lapses all night that led to the deficit they couldn't overcome.
And he makes a first. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. Mitchell against Allen. Outside Mitchell. Outside Garland. Shot clock at six. Foul beyond the arc, and he almost hit the shot. He'll go to the line for three. This guy has got great positional size at the two guard. Isaac Okoro can be challenging to guard. He sucks. Three sucks. That free throw, no good. Well, the physical gifts of Isaac Okoro are evident. Now it's about what are my best skills and what can help me become a real rotation player in the NBA. And the second free throw is good. And he nails the third. Here's Jones. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. Allen outside. On the wing, Durant. Oh, sinks it after the cagey pump fake. Nice. Durant's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Let's it go from 14. And the shot is good by Garland. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. And Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Four-point game. Outside Jones. Takes the three. Mitchell grabs a miss. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Okoro on the wing. Defended by Jones. Here's Okoro. He was another key contributor in that win against Brooklyn. Ooh, costly foul there. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right Reset. spot and ready to fire. That's good from Garland. I think, guys, you have to love the confidence Darius Garland brings to the game. This guy acts decisively. He's a quick decision maker. Even though he's young, he's not afraid to lead. Plumley's checked in for the Suns. And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. The Suns have gotten five of 11 shots to go. Pass to Nurkic. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this.
Now off the inbound. Booker drawing the double. For three, Allen. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mitchell against Allen. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Pass to Allen. Nurkic with the ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Jones bearing his second of three attempts. Cleveland has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Allen outside. Back to Garland. Driving inside. Mobley outside. Down low. And Garland with a basket on the assist by Okoro. Garland's got 12 points in the game. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now here's Jones. Five points in the game. Pass to Booker. Back to Jones. Good D by Mobley. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Well, a bit reckless right there. That's a second foul, and he can't afford to pick up a third. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. They're really not doing themselves any favors picking up this many fouls so early. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Morris, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Niang comes in for Evan Mobley. Levert's checked in for Okoro. And it's Struess in for Donovan Mitchell. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Bowl, he's checked in for Nurkic. Akogi comes in for Booker. Beal, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Morris in for Jones. Now here's Beal. Nine points for him in his last game. Got it. Well, you see how crafty Bradley Beal is. The athleticism helps in the paint. That's nicely done. The Cavaliers have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. To the paint. Boom! He jams it straight down. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. And it's Peel with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Morris outside. Pass to Plumlee. Struce against Beal. And here is Morris. Oh, it's stolen by Levert. Here they come with numbers in transition. A oh, nice shot by Morris. And the Cavaliers lead by two. Boy, you can really see the playmaking evolving. When Karis Levert is hitting wide open teammates, it shows how special he can be. The Suns have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Beal finds Morris. Deal with it. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. To the wing, right side. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Outside, Struess. Three-pointer, no good. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Here's Beal. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Yeah, just a great move by Beal. Little shake, little bake right there. And Cleveland shooting an impressive 47%. Garland feeling it out a bit. Liang outside. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Beal. The Suns have gotten 8 of 16 attempts to fall. Pass to Morris. Outside Bull. Bull. 
to the inside. Stolen by Struess. Fast break, Cleveland jumps up. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Well, it's 6'9 with good athleticism. Dunking not a problem for Mr. Morris. Give him some space, and he makes you pay. The Suns trailing. And here's Beal. Outside bowl. Out to Beal. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring, Grant, but there's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. That free throw misses. Bradley Beal entered the NBA as a sweet shooter, but consistent work and improvement has turned this guy into an absolutely lethal threat from everywhere on the floor. Mitchell's checked in for Struess, and the Suns also making a change. Little's checked in for Bowl. He hits the second from the line. The Cavaliers leading. Outside Garland. Levert outside. Pass to Morris. Garland, the pass to Levert. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Levert's got five points. We all know Karis Levert is a gifted driver. Balances that with the ability to make the best shot in basketball, the corner three. Now here's Beal. He's got five. Here's Little, defended by Nia. Back to Beal. Plumley a screen on Mitchell. Beal, the pass to Plumley. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. On the wing, Mitchell, hounded by Beal. Outside Garland, from the arc. And the Cavaliers, another three. Big night for Darius Garland. He's been a headache for the defense. Phoenix has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Now Morris. No points yet. Pass to Okogi. Little with a ball. The kick out to Morris. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. That'll be a five-second call. And in that March stretch, some interesting things going on in the East. You take a look at Cleveland. Right now, they rank third in the conference, aiming for a high seed in the postseason. Right now for Cleveland, they've been relentless competitors all season long. They've assured themselves of a lot of home games in the postseason, and we'll see if they can capitalize says the mid-range is dead. If the defense gives it, Darius Garland will take it. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. 
Bradley Beal's out there with Monte Morris. And it's Plumley in at the five. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting 55% for the game so far. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hey, Brian. Donovan Mitchell is a man of the people. He said, quote, just being in the community, whether it's going to high school games or barbecues, you never know what that one moment will do for a child. I'm forever grateful that I'm able to do that and get that reaction, and I will continue to do that throughout my life. Guys? Yeah, terrific stuff there, Ali. Thanks for that. This is one of the best to ever do it. Simply stated, Durant is lethal from behind the arc, and the efficiency is incredible. Now here's Mitchell, and that one drops for him. Morris has got six. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Morris passes to Durant. Pass to Okogi. 4-3. The Cavaliers pull it in. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Brooklyn. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Now here's Garland, coming off a 16-point game against timeout, Brooklyn. Timeout. And don't forget the sensational plays he made out Garland. there. He saw the court so well, firing perfect passes to teammates for wide-open shots. Cleveland calls timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Thompson, he's checked in for the Cavs. Struess comes in for Darius Garland. Struess with it. Beal picks him up. Pass to Thompson. Back to Levert. Thompson with a screen to the middle. And stolen by Durant. Akogi on the wing. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Cleveland. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense. Getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. And that one misses. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Now here's Plumley, Still without a bucket. Here's Morris. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. Levert passes to Niang. Shoots over Durant. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Pass to Okogi. And the foul called on Karis Levert. That's his first foul of the game. Morris against Mitchell. The kick to Durant. Here's Plumley. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Okoro comes in for Struess. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for the Suns. Jones comes in for Morris.
Allen. The pass to Okoro. Oh, Nurkic with the block. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before challenging Nurkic. Shot clock at five. Second shot opportunity. Morris can't hit. Phoenix has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Okogi's shot is off. Well, he did everything right till he got to the rim. He needs to finish that. Jones against Mitchell. Pass to Allen. Lavert outside to win the drought. Knocks down the long J. Lavert's got eight. Boy, the confidence level you can see in Karis Lavert to catch and shoot. It hits his fingertips and he's ready to roll. And here's Durant. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Here's Okogi. Jones with the ball. Up and in on the layup. Jones has got his third basket on the night right there. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. So it's the Cavaliers now. Three-point lead. Morris outside. Pass to Levert. Morris, a screen on Beal. Here's Levert. The Suns clear it. Beal's got four rebounds now. Can't hit that one. Ooh, Levert with some nice D. Now here's Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Nurkic. Pass to Okoro. Now Allen. Just five to shoot. Fades away. That one rolls around and rims out. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9", with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Now here's Allen. Still no points. No good, and that makes him 0 for 3. Outside Jones. Takes it inside. Got it. Makes him 4 for 6 from the floor. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. The Cavaliers leading. Cleveland calls timeout. For the Cavaliers, Mobley comes in for Morris. And Darius Garland subbed in for Levert. Devin Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. Allen comes in for Bradley Beal. Mobley passes to Okoro. Outside Garland. That one's good. Seven for ten now. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. And so here's Phoenix. They trail by three. Jones finds Booker. Pass to Allen. Six to shoot. Fires the three. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. How about the laser focus on that jump shot? Pays no attention to the nearest defender. Cleveland has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Allen against Mitchell. From downtown. Oh, 
Mitchell with the smooth stroke from distance. Donovan Mitchell will answer with his own three. This guy has got a ton of pride and competitiveness. Booker surveying the D. Rejected by Allen and stolen by Booker. On the wing, Jones, guarded by Garland. Durant against Mobley. Pass to Booker. Mobley grabs the board. Cleveland has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. And he lobs it up. It's stolen by Nurkic. Down low. Durant powers through the contact to finish inside. Well, you get a sense of how locked in Kevin Durant is. The defense not going to alter his approach. Allen, the pass to Mitchell. Good. Mitchell's got eight points. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Jones finds Booker. Back to Jones. Jacks up a three. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his third assist of the night. Devin Booker, not a guy who's going to just hunt out his own shot. If you're open, he'll find you. Now here's Garland. Give him 20. Mobley, a screen on Jones. Garland, the pass to Allen. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And when discussing Jared Allen, Doris, what's the thing you like most about his game? Well, obviously the defensive end of the floor, B.A. Here's a guy that's going to try to contest absolutely everything at the rim. He gets after it on the backboards. And there's this delightful appreciation for just living in the moment that Jared Allen embraces. I love his personality and his game. First one falls for him. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Levert's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Plumlee's checked in. So one for two that time at the stripe. Phoenix has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Booker. Allen on the wing. This one for three. The rebound by Allen. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. You like Allen to keep his concentration. Refuses to let the defense outmuscle or outwork him. Phoenix has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Jones against Garland. Back to Jones. Mobley against Plumley. Here's Booker. Booker! Just shredding the D. Well, inside against good defense, Booker with a nice adjustment takes care of business. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Here's Levert. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Allen. Sweet little floater. Allen's got five points. There's nothing like a big man with agility. Jared Allen operating well in the pick and roll right now. Here's Jones. He's got 12. Booker with it. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. And there's the lob. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got four rebounds now. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. 
Cleveland has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Levert outside. Outside Garland. Let's go with a three. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Pass to Jones. Nurkic to screen on Garland. Jones, the pass to Allen. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. The Suns trailing. Hey, yo, right here. Booker with it. Picked up by Allen. Oh, Booker in close. Well, you love the lethal scoring ability off the dribble. Booker putting extraordinary pressure on the defense. And it's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. Mobley a screen on Jones from 18 feet away. Drained it for two points. Garland's got 22. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now here's Booker. He has seven. Outside Jones. Clock at six. Pass to Booker. Over a Coro. Mobley grabs the board. Cleveland has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Levert goes against Allen. Levert with the ball. Here's the Coro. From behind the arc. And that's not going to go. A smart defender. Booker can anticipate and uses good balance movement to get in position. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Cavaliers ahead, leading by three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Welcome, folks, for the Phoenix Suns tonight. They're looking at what should be a good battle in a game that's still up for grabs. Showing they know how to play. Team chemistry is on display. You like what I did there? Showing they know how to play. Chemistry is on display. Kenny, anything you like to say? Oh. Shaq's chosen to rap because in the first half, he was taking a nap. Oh. What you said was not full. In other words, it was terrible. Bull. And now, here's the player of the week from both the East and West. The selection for the Western Conference, Victor Wembenyama. He's been doing big things down in the paint, using his size and power to just flatten out the competition, outworking anyone who tries to challenge him. This is what I like to see. There's really not much more you can ask for from your big man. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. It's been a clinic out there by Darius Garland. Man, I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And the Suns shooting at 45% of the game so far. Mitchell and Okoro, they are the wings. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. And it's Garland in at point guard. That's J.B. Bickerstaff's five as we get going in the second half. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Mitchell, the pass to Okoro. 
Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Well, Coro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. And here's Booker. Outside Jones. Launches a three. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. Instinctual playmaker. Booker very crafty in distributing to his teammates. Now here's Garland. And if you're just joining us, we played just over a minute here in the third. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Bradley Beal. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Phoenix has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Booker, the pass to Jones. Back to Booker. Just five on the clock. Over a Coro. Booker can't get it to go. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Mitchell against Allen. Mobley a screen on Allen. To the paint. Stolen by Booker. To the inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And every offense works to create good looks. Here are the beneficiaries of that effort. Second is Jared Allen. He's been fantastic scoring the ball, shooting it at a high clip. Good from Nurkic. Tied up with that one. Into the third. Two minutes in now. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Allen with a screen on Jones. Garland, the pass to Allen. And here's Mitchell. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. And that's good as he hits both shots. Donovan Mitchell, just such a relentless scorer. And that high energy he brings is always a huge catalyst for whatever team he plays for. Now here's Durant. He's got 11. Pass to Allen. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On Thursday, they'll be matching up with Drew Holiday and the Boston Celtics. And then on Friday, they're off to Charlotte to face off with the Hornets. And that game against Milwaukee, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. And he knocks down the first one.
good on both. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Mobley outside. Here's Okoro. Booker defending. Outside Garland. Mobley a screen on Jones. Five to shoot. And Mobley throws it down. Wow, that is some big time air time by Evan Mobley. My goodness. Phoenix calls timeout. For Phoenix, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Outside Booker. Outside Durant. Jones sets a screen. Let's it fly. And the Suns miss again. Boy, as slow a start as you can have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul. The Cavaliers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Garland finds Allen. Allen with a screen on Jones. Garland, the pass to Allen. It's stolen by Nurkic. You love that defensive effort right there showing up. Back to Jones. They set the pick. Outside Booker for the lead. Booker doing Booker things. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And Mitchell launches it from deep. Tries again. Allen. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Phoenix has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Allen outside. Now here's Booker. He's guarded closely. And Nurkic throws it down. What you love about this young guard, Devin Booker, is his ability to hurt you with both his passing and his shooting. Now Mitchell, 10 points for him. And he lobs it up top, and Mobley throws it down. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And here are the Suns now. Booker, the pass to Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, too easy for Nurkic. A big man who goes up strong. You have to meet him at the rim and counter his aggression. Jones against Garland. From 15 feet away, that one rolls around and rims out. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his third foul so far. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. 
The Cavaliers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success. B.A.? No doubt about that. And with Beal in the mix, they are all in. And so here's Phoenix. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Durant, the pass to Booker. Six on the shot clock. Mobley with the block. That's about reach, folks. The length, the athleticism, the timing of Evan Mobley. Pass to Okoro. Allen outside. Now here's Garland, defended by Jones. The three. Garland, no good. The Suns trailing. Right side, Jones. Outside, Durant. The three is up. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got 11 rebounds in the game. Oh, Durant with a steal. On the wing, Jones for the lead. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Outside, Mitchell. Back to Garland. Fires the three. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Garland's got 25 points in the game. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Outside Booker. And he draws body contact. Looks like a blocking foul. He was in the shooting motion, so he'll head to the line. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Cavaliers. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. That free throw good from Booker. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Morris, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. And the Suns also making a change. Beal, he's checked in for Allen. Both shots good from the strike. Booker, not the guy you want to foul, gentlemen. This guy is one of the best from the strike there is in the game. Pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. Using his post moves to get the two points. Garland's got five points in the quarter. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Outside Durant. Three-pointer. Goes back up. And it's laid in by Nurkic. Nurkic has got ten. And on the glass, Nurkic makes it look easy, using his reach to snatch the ball and get a shot of his own. Pass to Okoro. Allen against Nurkic. Oh, denied by Durant. It's pretty hard to shoot over a nine-foot standing reach. KD send it back. Durant owning the inside. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. The Cavaliers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Pass to Mitchell. Garland against Jones. Knocked loose. Six to shoot from deep. Mitchell. Yes. And a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got five assists tonight. From three-point range, Donovan Mitchell attacks with reckless abandon. He'll just keep firing, folks. The Suns have gone six of 13 to open up this second half. Jones in the post. Guarded by Garland. Left side, Booker. There's the three. Is rebounded by Okoro. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. 
Garland, no good. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Inside. Here's Durant. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. The Cavaliers leading. Allen with a screen on Jones. Garland with the ball. Nurkic picks him up. Oh, Nurkic with the block. Mitchell against Jones for the lead. That's good from Durant on the assist from Jones. Jones has got five assists tonight. Cleveland calls timeout. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant, he's getting it done today. With the amount of damage he's doing inside, a defensive adjustment must be made. A different look for Cleveland. Niang, he's checked in for Allen. Karis LeVert comes in for Okoro. And it's Struess in for Mitchell. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. LeVert outside. The three is up. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got six assists in the game. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Booker with a screen on Garland. Outside Booker. Pass to Okogi for three. They get it back. Second chance shot. And it's finished by Booker inside. Booker's got 14 points. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Cleveland has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Levert goes against Booker. And the officials will call Best the illegal screen, screen here. With the playoffs around the corner, let's see how the West is shaping up. You take a look at the Suns. The season is winding down. They sit ninth on the outside looking in currently. Well, right now for the Suns, it's been a disappointing year for them. Now, even though they're in the mix, they're not the dominant squad a lot of us thought they'd be. Yeah, but let's not call it a lost season yet there's still the possibility that they can make a strong run in the playoffs. And if that happens, all their regular season woes will be forgotten. The Cavs trailing. Now here's Garland. He's got 27. Outside Struess. Here's the three. It's another three for Cleveland. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And there's 138 left in the third quarter here. Levert goes against Booker. Plumley a screen on Levert. Oh, they get a hand on it. Booker, the pass to Morris. Drills it from deep. He's got five. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Now here's Garland. He has a clear impact on this offense. Putting up over 19 a game. Here's Niang. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Phoenix has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Here's Beal. Count it and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That one on Morris. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. The Suns leading. Here's Morris. He's got five. 
Pass to Booker. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Okogi from outside the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Levert's got a sixth rebound on the night. It would be smart to hold for the final shot. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Booker with it. 16 points for him. Let's it go from deep. Oh, Booker from the parking lot. It's clear there's a lot of pride on the line in this one. Absolutely. When someone makes a shot, the first thought is, I want my own back. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Suns. Moving the rock and looking for a shot. It's clear he's in a good rhythm. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. Killer B's on the wing. Beal and Booker, the two and the three. Kevin Durant is out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Morris in at the point. Mitchell's gotten four shots to go in 12 attempts. And here is Morris. Outside Durant. Plumley down low. Checked by Mitchell. Booker, the pass to Durant. Out to Beal. Oh, from deep. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got three assists tonight. Well, Bradley Beal does not need to handle the ball to be a threat. He gets to the catch-and-shoot game and makes the defense pay. Levert goes against Booker. Pass to Garland. Puts up a three. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. The kick out to Morris. Booker for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. Grown man points from Donovan Mitchell. Don't be mistaken about that 6'1 frame. That 6'10 wingspan, 215 pounds. Look out inside. Durant surveying the D. Outside for Booker. Over Levert. Booker no good. The Cavaliers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Garland no good. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. There's no debate there. He got hammered. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. The first one falls. Struess, he's checked in for Garland. Free throws good from Booker. 
finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Levert finds Struess outside Mitchell. Niang a screen. Just five on the clock. Pass to Morris. Launches it. Plumley pulls down the board. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Morris with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. High post Plumley. Now here's Booker. Beal outside. Durant with it. There's the triple. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Levert's got seven rebounds in the game. Now Struess. Pass to Niang. Levert with the ball. The three ball. And count it. Now five for seven. Ooh, he's been hot from out there. Helping to keep them in this game. And you don't need to tell him that. He's used the three-point shot as his primary weapon today. Phoenix calls timeout. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Okoro's checked in. Okogi's checked in for the Suns. Jones comes in for Morris. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. Coach cautioned his team against feeling comfortable. He said the moment we take our foot off the gas, they're back in it. Let's push through the finish line. Brian? All right, appreciate it, Allie. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Struess against Beal. Outside Jones. Second chance effort. And the layup is good. They have hit the boards hard this half. Those second chance points are mounting up. To the inside. Levert. And Durant with the block. Deal against Struess. And count it. Now five for seven. Boy, that is just tremendous concentration from Bradley Beal. Defense all over him, no problem. Cleveland has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Here's the pick. And the Cavaliers, another three. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Pass to Jones. Beal outside. And Max Struess picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Jones in the post. Checked by Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Beal, the pass to Okogi. Over Levert. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ballgame. Back to Mitchell. Over Jones. And it's Mitchell, that time, on the assist from Levert. Levert's got his sixth assist of the night. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Deal against Struess. Deal into the lane. On the wing, Jones. And Beal hits it from deep. Beal's got 11 points here in the second half. Well, Bradley Beal works so hard to find the opportunities on the offensive end. He knows he's responsible to carry the load. Mitchell against Jones. Morris, a screen on Jones. Mitchell on the drive. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Brad, they are connected. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Three-point lead. 
Beal outside. Back to Jones. Outside Durant. Oh, it's stolen by LeVert. From deep, Struess. Okogie pulls down the board. Okogie's got four rebounds in the game. Beal finds Jones. Pass to Durant from deep. Another three for Phoenix. I mean, what a generational talent. KD deadly from the corner. The Cavaliers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Now Levert. Let's it fly. And Okoro gets it to go. Okoro's got four points now in the quarter. That's what you call a whatever-it-takes mindset. Okoro finds his way to contribute night in and night out. Phoenix has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. Outside Durant. Outside Jones. Plumley passes to Okogi. And the layup is good. And here in the fourth, he's been zeroed in, hitting some big-time buckets. Levert outside. The steal. On the break. Nice shot by Okogi. And the Suns lead by eight. Well, the ability to force a turnover and then start the fast break, turn from defense to offense in one quick flash. That's Josh Okogi at his best. Struess the pass to Morris. Back to Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. Drops in the three. Mitchell's got 23. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. Struess against Beal. Pass to Jones. Now Plumley. Clock at six. Here's Durant. Another one falls for Phoenix. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. For Cleveland, they've gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Here's Mitchell. Oh, get up, Donovan. Wow. Well, Spida is attacking right now. Very few guys can score it as quickly or as easily. The Suns have gotten eight of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Jones against Mitchell. Pass to Beal. Okogi on the wing. Back to Beal. Outside Durant. It's tipped. Jones from outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Okoro's got four rebounds now. Outside for Mitchell. And here is Morris. Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got rebound number seven tonight. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That'll be a second foul of the game. A different look for Cleveland. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Morris. Mobley comes in for Okoro. And Garland is subbed in for Struess. Left side Jones over Garland. Another shot. Allen outside. Booker with a screen on Mitchell. Allen, the pass to Nurkic. Durant for three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. From deep, Mitchell. It's hauled in by the Suns. Booker's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Jones. Back to Booker. Durant with it. Covered by Mobley. For three, Allen. Up again. He can't hit that time. The Cavs trailing. 
Down low. Ooh, Durant with a steal. Allen with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Here's Jones. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Now here's Mitchell. Cleveland calls timeout. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Okoro is checked in for Cleveland. Allen against Mitchell. Rebounded by Nurkic. The Suns leading. Here's Jones. Outside Booker. Back to Jones. And play stop. So whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got six assists in the game. I'll tell you, important moment for Evan Mobley. Meeting the moment with a big shot. That's big time. Nurkic passes to Jones. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. from Jones and so it's Cleveland with it trailing by eight Mitchell against Allen Mitchell the pass to a quarrel offline with a three and Booker has got the ball here for the Suns there's a minute 17 left in the fourth quarter here and Nurkic throws it down. Yeah, when he sets the pick, Nurkic can do different things on the roll. <laughs> Makes him hard to track. We've got 113 left to play in the fourth. Allen against Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Allen. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Drives to the hoop. And it's Allen who slams it home. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And the Suns shooting around 50% of the game so far. Outside Jones. Pass to Booker. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shot clock at six. Allen finds Booker. Over a Coro. Booker no good. And you know they're extremely disappointed right now. I mean, this one getting away from them. Well, they definitely have some things to work out. And you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. Outside Durant. Gets Booker on the wing. Back to Durant. Outside Jones. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the triple. And the Suns lead by 11. And they knew it wasn't going to be easy to win on the road, but they've controlled the pace on this one. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. 
All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Kevin, that was a gritty road win. How do you evaluate your performance? Uh, it's a tough place to play. You know, you hear the crowd. It was, it was loud as soon as we stepped on the floor. So, you know, we're just trying to uh, play our brand of basketball and just keep growing. The crowd had nothing on you, though. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. Now our New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant.